frontal car crashes. Each year they kill thousands of Americans and injure hundreds of thousands. The majority of all fatal injuries to people in collisions occur in head-on and angled frontal car crashes. In a frontal crash, it's all over in a split second. Let's imagine that we're in the front seat of a car like this, that these test dummies are me, or you, or someone you love. Watch. The car is a wreck, and the occupants are a wreck too. But it needn't be this way for them or for us. This is a vehicle test track, and these are test dummies. On the highway, they'd be real people. Let's take a very slowed down look at what happened to dummies like these in that frontal crash we saw a moment ago. The car is traveling at 35 miles an hour. Now the car contacts an object ahead. Here, it's a test barrier. In the real world, it might be a bridge pier, a tree, a pole, or another vehicle. The car is being brought to a crushing stop. Meanwhile, inside the car, the people keep moving forward at about the same speed, 35 miles per hour, until they crash into the structures ahead. Their crash began a split second after the car struck the barrier. Here's the crash again from inside the car. Now the car has started to impact the barrier. A fraction of a second later, the unrestrained occupants begin their crash. In that critical moment, had the people been provided with sufficient restraining protection, their chances of being killed or seriously hurt would have been greatly reduced. In slow motion, that's what goes on in a frontal crash, an event that in reality takes place so fast it's over like that. Researchers have known for decades that much of the death and serious injury in frontal crashes is needless. If the bodies of the people in the crashes are properly restrained, that is, slowed down more gently and kept from smashing into the car's interior structure, they're much less likely to be killed or seriously injured. Seat belts can do the job, but only if they're worn. The law requires that new vehicles be equipped with safety belts. At the Chrysler Proving Grounds, impact tests are conducted under rigidly controlled conditions. The results are dramatic proof that seat belts save lives. At only 30 miles per hour, without belts, we can see through slow motion that the dummy is thrown against the windshield with deadly force. At one-fifth true speed, we have a sobering view of the sudden action. Employing the use of the lap belt only, we repeat the test. Results are conclusive. Protective restraint is gained for the lower portion of the body, but the upper body is still thrown forward. A speed up in action accentuates the possibility of a serious head injury. Using both lap and shoulder belts provides remarkably improved results. The dummy is fully restrained and protected from contact with both windshield and instrument panel. Closer to true speed. Lap and shoulder belts mean added safety. A crash. If it happens to you, will it be this? Or this? this. Safety is within easy reach. Lap and shoulder belts save lives. <laughs>